Well, this busy tournament week for spring sports, continuing with boys and girls lacrosse taking center stage. Our wall to wall highlights beginning with the Twin Cities rivalry. These highlights hot off the presses just coming in. Northern A boys to Lewiston, 7 Edward Little. Second quarter, Kyle Graves falling down. Tallies for the Blue Devils are up 2 0. Other way, Wesley Clements, the shot from the point, it finds the back of the net. Eddie's down a goal. Lewiston answers. Eli Bigelow with the goal, and the Blue Devils pull away with a 9 3 playoff win in the rivalry game. Third seeded Portland hosting six seeded Wyndham. Defensive struggle in the first half. George Voigne, the shot for Wyndham and Johnny Sylvain with the save for the Bulldogs. A little later, Derek Palo gets some space and beats everybody. 8-3 Wyndham. Eagles face Lewiston in the next round. Top seed in A North. Falmouth taking on Chevrolet tonight. Yachtsman in control in the third. Kasdan Barry hits senior classmate Wyatt Kerr. And it's 14-3 Falmouth. To open up the fourth, Barry decides to keep it himself. Good decision. Falmouth rolls 20 to 3. They'll face Oxford Hills in the semis of the region. Thornton Academy in Scarborough. Hey, fans in the house. Good to see them. Could be a regional final any other year. Owen Lidley working up top to Jeremiah Park. Red Storm go up 1 nothing. T.A. bursts into the lead thanks to Ronan Flynn. The individual effort beating the D. T.A. goes up by a girl, a goal in the first half. Scarber responds. William St. Germain to Owen Ledley. First of his three on the night. And then Ledley finds Tay Delaware who stuffs it home. And Scarborough prevails 9-6. They'll visit top-seeded Berwick. Third seed, Gorham hosting six-seeded Bonnie Eagle. First quarter, Brady Sawyer sets up Jacob Lehman for his second of the game. And Gorham's up 2-0. Less than a minute later, Andrew Godreau runs the ball up the field and sets up Ben Tukey for the goal. 3-0 Gorham. Later in the quarter, Aiden Winsley sets up Winsey, that is, sets up Tukey for his second. 9-6 Gorham. They'll take on Cape in the next round. Bitterford hosting Gardner. Bitterford on the rush. Alexander Tragel, the rebound. Kalem Labonte is there. Right place, right time. Goes top shelf. Then the goal of the day. Trago hits a cutting. Trevor will let you get to see this. The no look behind the back goal in Bitterford with a 12 5 win in fine fashion. Trevor will let. Pretty sweet goal. All right. Number 11, Brewer at number 6, Yarmouth. Craziest six seed you ever see. Goalie Simon Algara outletting for Yarmouth to Colin Singer. He's a pretty big target, and he's going to do the rest. Singer walks in and roofs the bouncer. The Clippers with the shutout, 20 to nothing over Brewer. Southern Sea Boys, Grand Gloucester hosting Lake Region. Scoreless game until the second quarter when Matt Gilman picks up the deflected shot and scores. Patriots go up 1-0. A few minutes later, Caleb Plummer finds Nick Stanley for another low goal. Great of Gloucester in a pitcher's duel, 4-1 to one over Lake Region. All right, Northern A girls, second-seeded Wyndham hosting Chevrolet. Late in the first half, Emmy Yale in traffic and Wyndham in command up 10. A little bit later, Carissa O'Connell sets up Riley Beam for another Eagles goal. A goal. The route is on, 15-1 Wyndham, they host Oxford Hills next. Lewiston hosting Portland in the 4-5 matchup in the north. Rebecca Lucier with the free position goal and Lewiston up 3-2. Other way, Jane Marvin swerving through traffic for the Bulldog goal. But Charlotte Castingway with the answer for the Devils and they pick up the 9-6 win. Top seeded Falmouth hosting Edward Little. This was all Falmouth. Madeline Jacobson working from behind the net for the Falmouth goal. They score 13 goals in the first 13 minutes. Win it 13 to nothing to host Lewiston on Friday. Thorne Academy traveled to Marshwood in a 4-5 matchup. It was 8-3 Marshwood at the half. Lindley Gorey feeds Ella Monero and the Hawks are in control. But T.A. with a furious comeback. Grace Verano starts it in front. They're down 9-8 late. And then with 35 seconds left, Morgan Bolduc gets the game-tying goal. She scored in overtime, and Thornton rallies back for the 10-9 win to move on. Number 7, Gorham at number 2, Scarborough. Early going, Natalie Bilodo with the fancy move. The Red Storm go up 8-0 before Gorham would get on the board. Then Paige Spooner finds Maya Selinger. Scarborough takes it 11-3. Red Storm hosts Massapisic in the regional finals. That